Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, liturgically the third Sunday in the liturgical year, and in a very special way we are celebrating the feast days of our own mother, Our Lady of Perpetual Health. And in today's Gospel also Jesus is requesting with regard to the discipleship, how the first disciples followed Jesus and the mother who was really put into practice the God's plan and following the God's ways in her own life. And it's a call for us and call for each one of us to follow Jesus like Blessed Virgin Mary. While we are celebrating in these days the feast day of Our Lady of Perpetual Health and that should be one of our aspiration wishes like mother we should be able to put into practice the gospel values in our life like our blessed virgin mary we should be able to follow jesus very closely let us also place our praise aspirations and intentions while we are celebrating this holy eucharist and we are not at all worthy to celebrate this great sacrament. We committed a lot of mistakes and sins. Let us call out all the sins that we committed and ask pardon from the Heavenly Father. By asking God's mercy and pardon, let us pray together, I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what He has done and in what He has paid to do, to my faults, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, He asks the blessing of Mary of our Virgin, all you listen and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to an everlasting life. Please take hymn number 450A on page 114.
sins of the world. Have mercy. Almighty and ever living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son we may abound in good works through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The first reading is taken from the book of Isaiah. The prophet speaks of a time when people who walk in darkness will see a great light. The church understands this light as a symbol of Christ. First, he degraded the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the end, he has glorified the seaward road, the land west of the Jordan, the district of the Gentiles. Anguish has taken wing, dispelled is darkness. For there is no gloom, where but now there was distress. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. As they rejoice before you, as at the harvest, as men make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of meeting. The word of the Lord. Your response to the psalm will be, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Please. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? Your response? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. Your response? I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. 
Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. Your response? Second reading taken from first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul urges the Christian community at Corinth to come to a common understanding and live in unity and peace. I beg you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to agree in what you say. Let there be no factions, rather, be united in mind and judgment. I have, I have been informed, my brothers, by certain members of Kelo's household, that you are quarreling among yourselves. This is what I mean. One of you will say, I belong to the Paul. Another, I belong to the Apollos. Still another, Caiaphas has my allegiance. And the fourth, I belong to Christ. Has Christ then been divided into parts? Was it Paul who was crucified for you? Was it in Paul's name that you were baptized? Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel. Not with worthy wisdom, however, lest the cross of Christ be rendered white of its meaning. The word of the law. Gospel acclamation. of the kingdom and heal those who were sick. From the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew into Galilee, and leaving Nazareth, he went and dwelt in Capernaum by the sea, in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali. And what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, toward the sea, across the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. From that time, Jesus began to preach, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. As he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, in the boat with Zebedee their father, mending their nets. 
and he called them. Immediately they left the boat and the father and followed him. And he went about Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every infirmity among the people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Please take him number 88. Let us stand and profess our faith by reciting Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, Begotten, not made consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, and for as men of for salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. And for our sake he was crucified under principal life. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is, is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to our God, who is gracious and merciful, abounding in the steadfast love, that we may come to Him and experience the forgiveness, love, and be transformed in our lives. For our Holy Father, the Pope, all bishops, priests, and deacons in the Church, that they may be people who experience the ministry of love and share it with the others, we pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord strengthen hear our prayers. To love. For the political leaders of our country, that they may be blessed with a true understanding of God's invitation to serve, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord strengthen, strengthen our vocation to love. For all refugees and people displaced from their homes, that they experience the protection of the Lord, especially through the support of all the human beings, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, strengthen our vocation to love. For the sick, suffering and lonely, that they may experience healing, love and communication in the family of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, strengthen our vocation to love. For ourselves, gather around the Eucharistic table, that the Lord may give us the grace and strength to participate wholeheartedly in the mission of Christ and live the great ministry of love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, strengthen our vocation to love. Let us pray silently for our own personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, our Heavenly Father, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference between. We make this prayer through Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please take him number 88 on page 26.
pray my dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to god almighty father accept our offerings so lord we pray and in sanctifying them grant that they may profit us for our salvation we make this prayer through christ who is the lord forever and ever the lord be with you lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it's right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashion for us remedy out of mortality itself that the course of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our lord through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever may our voices we pray join with us in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim indeed holy your lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for three years son our lord jesus christ by the power and the working of the holy spirit you give life to all things that you make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these sacred mysteries from the night when he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was sent he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of his saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us yourself. Grant that we are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with the elect, especially by the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her spouse, Blessed Joseph, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Bernard our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. By the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Father, in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive those who trespass us, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and give us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter unto my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May I request at least ten sisters to come forward.
Please take hymn number 94 on page 27. number 425 on page 110.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to a new life, we may always glory in your gift. We make this prayer through Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Bow down your heads and receive God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in his kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. May he nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in the holy deeds. Amen. Amen. May he turn your steps towards himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks.